From the time the Knights of Columbus was founded in 1882, it has always been true that while each generation has faced its own challenges and hardships, each generation of Knights has stepped forward with courage and generosity equal to the task. Over the course of the last year, we have seen countless difficulties brought about by COVID-19. Beyond the obvious health crisis, our communities have also confronted widespread joblessness and economic hardship, leading to shortages of basic necessities. Many have experienced isolation, and our parishes, schools, and outreach programs have been tested and strained. Together, Knights of Columbus have stepped forward to tackle these challenges, making certain that we leave no neighbor behind. Our efforts have proved once again that where there's a need, there's a night. I'm grateful for this opportunity to share just a few examples of what we were able to accomplish together in the last year. The Knights of Columbus have become guardian angels, not only here at St. Martin's for the Little Sisters, but around the country. A lot of people out there feel alone. They feel scared. And so this is really putting our faith into practice to let them feel a little bit of consolation and that they are not left behind. I believe the charitable work we do today defines the Knights of Columbus, taking our beliefs out into the community, the way Father McGivney dreamed of. Thanks, Knights of Columbus, for helping us and leaving no neighbors behind. Señor nos pone ángeles como son los caballeros de Colón que nos han ayudado con miles de dólares. We're a band of brothers, and that's certainly what you're witnessing now. Thank you, Brother Knights, for all you have done and for all that you will continue to do. As we emerge from this pandemic, we know that there will be new and unknown challenges to face, but face them we will, as brothers united in charity and determined to leave no neighbor behind. Viva Jesus!